on this video. Sugar brushes. And we're going to add to a sugar brush that we've done in a previous video. Um, we're going to like advance it up even more. So let's bring Kerry into the picture. So if you've already seen this sugar bush, we danced it laterally. I love the way she dances. <laughs> I don't even try to do that. Well, I have a couple of times and I stop. Can't out do what she does, too sexy. So we did a sugar bush, sending the girl off the track laterally, diagonally, diagonally laterally, and then brought her in for a free spin, and then danced it out. And I wanted to, like let's say the chorus comes in and it's got a da -da -da -da, very repetitive, and or, or, or I want to show the result at the end of a phrase, and I'm like on that last eight before I do the hit. Or even something percussive that you want to accent in the music. This is a great way to extend the pattern. So we're going to talk about that first before we even go into the sugar bush. Yeah. Because theoretically, you should already seen it in a previous video in a different level. So I've sent Kerry out to the side on that um, count four or and four. Now I've brought her in. And I've maintained connection here. Instead of free spinning off and then anchoring, I'm actually going to trace the body and I'm going to pick up on that right side of her body and then change it over into my left hand. Then switch back again and switch back. Now one of the things you want to do, I'll just put this here, is learn just to do this. This can be a cool enough move on itself. And then sometimes you want to move together. And just practice. And I like you when you practice. practice either opposition or together or both. I like you, yes, to go ahead and do it from the rib area, shoulder blade area, but also do it from the hip area. Mm -hmm. uh, because anything you do up here is fabulous, but she can also be in two minds of things. Be constantly thinking, is he going to rotate me or is he going to close me into frame? So you also want to work on the lower area as well, whether it be opposition or same side, doing the hand toss like um, Fred Astaire with his cane, the follow being the cane, the leader being Fred Astaire. Yeah, I wish. Then, um, we'll go ahead and work the pivots. So, I'll just explain to the follows that today in this video, even though there's lots of different ways to do this, Shane and I are traveling um, my turns, the follows turns, anti-clockwise or counterclockwise. And so, after we do our opposition right and left, he's going to start revolving us up the right. Which means that's the foot that's going to travel and push. My left is basically going to stay in place and just swivel. Push off the right, push off the right. So this is the next level of your drill. Don't rotate yet. Don't rotate yet. <laughs> Don't rotate him yet. I was her. excited, man. Yeah. But we're just going to let the lady revolve around her left leg while you're practicing that drill. And then once you get that, maybe the gentleman can, or the leader can walk around her yeah. counterclockwise. So let's talk about hands just quickly. Mm -hmm. So let's say I've already done the first pass from right to left. My hands are normally both on contact with the body with the girl. Then she feels I relax that right hand, I release the left hand. I bring her across, she sinks in, so boom. So I'm together, then I trace the body low and then bring it across and then trace the body. And I like to lower the hands for the trace or raise the hands. There's a reason for it. So in other yes. words, he's passing me from hand to hand. Yeah, before he so I'm still tossing the cane go. basically. It might change a little bit, but I'm still tossing the cane. You know, one of these things that when we do these higher level movements is being prepared to adapt or adjust to our partner and know that sometimes we get a little excited, we lead it a little early. Or we leave a little late and the girl adjusts, or I've got to adjust. So she may need more time or less time. She may need to gather her feet. I got excited, a little too big, a little too fast. Settle her back down and then bring it on and you'll be good. So start your practice drills with just going opposing sides or same sides. And then start rotating the girl from one foot to the other, or from yeah. one hand to the other. And then the higher level of that would be then finally the leader rotating around yeah. the girl. Yeah, and it's starting in close first so you can send her in opposition. I'm sending her to the left. Normally it starts from the right side because that's where I would lead her. Then I switch and then I step together. This is just one version of the footwork. I switch as I step out of the right then I move to the left. Boom. Boom. Together out, together, out, or I could step around, step around with that left foot. That's the sort of preferred style that I have, it. it's not right or wrong. And then sometimes I'll flare that foot if the girl turns more or faster or she does a double. 
Those of you who do a lot of hustle or salsa or amorous swing, you're going to add multiple rotations. The stood together technique is probably good when you're just starting out. Passing the feet allows that to be sequential and almost flawless. So mm. it's just whatever feels comfortable for you as you're working with your way up to this. So let's just send you out. So come together, one, two, three, and send her out. That's like and four. I brought her in, I traced, and I sent together. I traced across together uh, over. And I just keep making those hand changes. And then how much rotation I get, I'm adapting to carry. So let's show that rather than the whole schmear because that was going from the opposition to the hand toss. The lady was turning, the gentleman was turning. Let's do that with just the lady turning. The gentleman can just hang out in place. Oh, okay. So from the push. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, and send. I send bring her in. Boom. So I'm just going right to left. Right as she goes out to my left. And then whether you decide to close her up and start again, or whether you decide to send her out to one hand, that's a really great way just to begin this hand toss before you try to add in the leader rotating around, because that can be a little bit tricky just jump into yeah, that. Yeah, take your time, work on adjusting. It's really opposition, opposition, and getting that timing right and rolling. And girls, don't try to go too fast. Like I have connection with Kerry, so she feels that, and she feels that I'm not urgent, so she doesn't go urgent, but if I rotate it faster, then she moves faster. Yes, if he that really keeps... accelerates, there's a possibility that I could be spinning on one foot because he's doing a simple waist turn from classical ballet versus allowing me that um, pushing off of the one foot and sinking. Yeah. If he accelerates that really tight, then I'm just gonna go to that and one foot. You know, if she does two turns, maybe most girls are not going to risk it, but I send her out, right? And then I'm like, warm. And I feel that, <laughs> I'm gonna let it go, sorry. I'm gonna let it go. And if she wants to keep rotating, she can. So it takes a lot of practice to do that extra turn. So let's demonstrate it from a couple different directions, from okay. the top and dancing out in several different fashions, whether it be closed or just dancing to a single hand. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Two, three, three, four, five, seven is a really nice one way and two. to start that out when the lady's always taking that step on her right foot on the odd counts. Mm -hmm. And let's see, we started it that way, so let's start it this way this time. And one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Three and four, five, six, seven, eight, two, one, and two. Want to do it one more time from this side or just start with music? I think we can go to music. Okay. I think they got a good, good feel for it. See how you go. You can always send us an email if you want more information on that. Enjoy. We'll see you in the next video.